awesome to have you with us. Let's bring out our next fighters. Here's Jeff Hobbs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your next battle of the evening. It is sponsored by Combat Cast. Combat Cast will be streaming our all amateur shows here at Aries Fight Series. This next bout is in the light heavyweight division and scheduled for three three minute rounds. Your first fighter fighting out of the Allure Properties Blue Corner. He weighed in at 201.4 pounds. He has a record of one win with one loss. He fights for Reed Regiment out of Waverly, Tennessee. Let's hear it for Robbie Burns. Here comes Robbie Burns, first out in this. Actually, so this is a light heavyweight battle. I had it listed as a heavyweight. It is light heavyweight. Sorry, that's my bad. Light heavyweight at 205 between Robbie Burns and Zane Burton. Burns, another young guy, 20 years old, six feet three. Out of the Reed Regiment count, has worked with a camp. He's worked with Kurt Reed, Justin Johnson, Chino Tron, Shawnee Banks, Shane Phillips, Dusty Gilbert, Xander Morgan, among those in the camp for the 20 year old Robbie Burns. Burns coming off of a loss to Blake Perry as a one in one record. Lost to Blake Perry in March of this year at Primal Combat 2. That was in 2 minutes and 41 seconds via guillotine choke in the first round. And prior to that, his amateur debut was a win over Jack Bowles. That was in just 57 seconds via strikes. That also was at Primal Combat, at Primal Combat 1. And that was in December of last year. So returning to the cage is Robbie Burns and his opponent, Zane Burton from the Agogi Combatives Camp. We'll tell you about him in one second as Burns is in the cage. We go back to Jeff. And his opponent fighting out of the Knoxville Mortgage Brokers Red Corner. He weighed in at 204.8 pounds. He has an amateur record of one win with no losses. He represents Agogi Combatives out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. East Ridge, Chattanooga, this is Zane Burton! Zane Burton with a 1-0 record in amateur MMA, also has dabbled in Muay Thai. He's 1-0 in Muay Thai as well. Now, Zane tried to be, he tried to be slick. They have the fighters fill out a questionnaire with some questions, things in their background. So Zane puts in there, just I guess being serious and see if it would get back get past the the commentator as uh, an accomplishment amateur pillow fighting world champion <laughs> so so Zane just wanted to see if that would like get mentioned on the air as like a true accomplishment and if Zane has done that then I'll apologize later but um really just kind of shows his personality and he's coming yeah. out to Mr. Sandman too so you know he's got a sense of humor no, no, I've met the kid before. Good kid, young, yeah. promising, amateur. So Zane Burton, his one fight was over Andre Zulu Johnson, who is coming up next, who is fighting Torres, the Punisher Finney, in our next bout, who is also from Burton's camp, Agogi Combative. So that was a round two strikes victory in 45 seconds of the second round back in August. So both fighters in the cage, our ring girl Bonnie making the rounds. Our referee will be Caleb Miller for this light heavyweight bout at 2.05. Robbie Burns in the black trunks, Zane Burton in the white trunks. Love it when it's that easy and clear. Three, three minute rounds in Chattanooga. We're live on Spectation Sports Cage side and we are underway. Here we go. Zane said no to the glove touch. We see Robbie a little bit more flight, lighter on those feet. Zane's a little flat footed. Maybe that's his style. Looking to plant and land. We got uh, Robbie kind of looking for Morty in and out. And, and Zane using his strikes to, to work his wrestling. The neck does burn, trying to hold off, but he hits the deck. 
Now he's got to clear it and pass to the right. He's got to get his butt on the opposite side of his head. Keep, he's got to keep peeling that hand off if I was Zane. Good work, Zane. Getting up. Robbie doing a good job of holding him, but he's got to get out. The easiest way out of mount is to, is to half guard. So he's got to flatten that leg and start scooping that other leg. Here is a bad place oh, to yeah. stay. A couple more of these, the ref's going to stop it. Yeah. Good, he got his legs in front. This is only in the, so now if, if Zane could clear like he did, he's going to be in position. This is the worst place to be getting punched too. Nice trap by Zane. It's a big boy to be on top of you, raining down on you. Midway through round number one, look yeah, out. The ref Ooh. on top, and we're gonna close. see a stoppage. It's, yep, there yeah. it is. Zane Burton gets a strikes victory this time in the first round. And Burton stays undefeated at two and zero oh, with a victory over Robbie Burns, who falls to one and two. Impressive by Zane Burton. Zane two and zero. Oh. Bright young future. Let's see the replay of this ground to bound right here. So he's mounting him. He's trapping that arm. I love what I'm seeing here. You don't see trapping too much. Big right hands. And he's catching an ear every time. These are good shots. You see his head bouncing and bouncing. And the referee with the right call. Corner giving some, some props to an encouragement to Robbie Burns tell him to keep his head up. That was the Burton corner, so well done. Classy from those guys. Burns, still a lot of promise, still a young guy himself, so keeping the head up, great thing to say for the 20-year-old Burns who falls to one and two. But Zane Burton, it's his night tonight. We went to two and oh. All right, so Zane Burton with that victory. Gogi Combatives, that's two straight wins for a Gogi. And another one of the Gogi Combatives fighters, Torres Finney, is up next. Right now, time to make this one official. We go back to Jeff Hobbs. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Caleb Miller, stops this bout at one minute and 31 seconds of the first round. Your winner by TKO, Zane.